God bless you guys. This is Sean here. I just want to leave off a comment that I made for my last video. I just want to leave off this before I let you go, guys. Last video I made, I did post some scriptures on there. I know they may be strong language. You know, I just have this thing where, you know, sometimes when the videos are a certain amount or if I'm getting a revelation on a topic over and over and I do it, I kind of like to look at how long the video is. Like if, if it's 13 minutes and 10 seconds, you know, I'll... uh like that last one is, I'll get verses of scripture to try to give me some context. Maybe the Lord is speaking prophetically uh, through me about some stuff I'm, I'm seeing. And I learned how he does that. And he doesn't just do that with me. Everybody, you know, he does that with that, that is in the Lord, you know, that he, he'll speak through the, the timing. that You could start looking at the timing. Uh, this is what I learned later that John Paul Jackson did the same thing. When God would give him a time or a number, he'd look at it in the light of scriptures. And, and I didn't know he was doing that because that's what I was doing. Uh, like verse, you know, if it's 12 minutes and 14 seconds, I'll look up Isaiah 12, maybe verse 14, or you, you get my drift. And so not trying to um, condemn anybody. I'm not afraid. I'm never afraid of speaking hard truths. But I always want you to feel like, guys, like I said, like I was telling people today, you know, the worst thing you are if you're in a sin is to run away from the Lord. That only makes it worse. Run to him. I was saying, telling some people about how, you know, both the devil and God have the, both the thing in common. They both want people to run to them when they're uh, out of sync with one another or whatever. For God, you know, he he wants you, uh, God, he wants you to run to him with your sin, to not be afraid to uh, give it up. Run to him and ask for his help and he'll help you get out of it. Satan wants you to run to him with your righteousness so you can give it away to him. And so he can help you prosper in evil, you know. And so they both have those things in common. But don't ever run away from the Lord. If, if you're trying to get free of sin, run to him. Don't run from his judgment. That's the worst thing you can do is run from his judgment, you know. Because Jonah tried to do that. We know how that went for him. So seek the Lord, guys. And he will give you help out of your sins. But I love you. I just wanted to tell you. Don't be weighed down. Lay, lay down your burden, the heavy burden of sin. You know, receive the Lord's mercy. Receive his forgiveness and, and come out of that because you can because you have his love and his, his cross. And I'm going to be praying for you. I'm going to be trusting you're, you're going to come to the Lord and all you need to do. But I love you guys. I'm going to let you go. Until next time, shalom.